Here's 10 advanced iPhone gestures as fast as possible. There's bound to be one in here you didn't know or one that you could be using more. Anyway, let's begin. First up is dragging and dropping stuff around iOS. Now I'm not just talking about the standard moving apps around in bulk on the homepage, but also moving pictures, files, links, and almost anything you would do on a desktop all on your iPhone. Once you have a bundle of these items, just let go in a text field or location. You can normally tell by a green plus icon when you're about to drop your selection in a field. Next up is selecting from a list. If you take two fingers and drag on a scrolling list, you can select the items quickly instead of tapping them one by one. This works in a variety of applications like mail, contacts, reminders and even third party apps as well. So it's best if you just have a go yourself. Talking about selecting stuff quickly, if you already have a selection open and are generally in a grid view instead of a list view, such as the Photos app or the Files app, you can just drag with one finger to select multiple items at once. Pretty cool. What's not cool though is having to shake your iPhone when you need to redo something. Instead of this, you can swipe with three fingers to the left to undo and three fingers swipe to the right to redo. If there's a lot that you need to redo, then to save your hands some pain, tap with three fingers and you get the undo, redo and other controls at the top of the screen. What can also save time is tapping on the time. Now I'm actually being serious here. Instead of scrolling endlessly, tap the time or the status bar region and you'll be taken to the top of the list, page or any website you're on. What's even better though is if you grab the scroll bar instead. This way you can easily and quickly move between different areas of a long website without having to scroll a bunch. Next up is bullet points in a note app. If you swipe right on a particular line in the list, you can indent the line, as you can see here. What's also quite handy is the use of the space bar on the keyboard as a trackpad to move your cursor around. I generally prefer this to the magnifying glass you get when you touch and hold. Talking about holding, haptic touch is something that is often not used enough. You'll have to play around with this yourself as there are just so many things that you can tap and hold on throughout iOS but I find it most useful for peeking at messages you might have received and want to read the full thing without opening it fully and letting the other person know. Now if you use Safari and switch between tabs a lot, consider swiping on the URL bar to switch between them. It's similar to the gesture you can use for full screen apps to quickly switch between various things you might be doing. Now your life has changed I guess. Now those are some advanced iPhone tips and gestures all covered but i bet a lot of you are using chrome so why not check out this video right here which goes over some useful tips also feel free to leave a comment on how helpful you found this video as well as anything you'd like me to cover next time anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you later